Outlander, Brianna Randall slaps Jamie Fraser in the face after he attacks wrong man for raping her. Brianna Randall slapped Jamie Fraser in the face after he attacked the wrong man for raping her on Sunday's episode of Outlander. Brie, played by Sophie Skelton, learned during the episode titled The Deep Hearts Core that Jamie, Sam Hewen, beat up her time-traveling boyfriend Roger Wakefield, Richard Rankin, instead of her rapist Stephen Bonnet, Edward Spillers. Jamie tried to defend himself and angrily accused Brie of lying about her lust after getting pregnant. She strongly slapped him in the face while setting the record straight. I was violated, you self-righteous bastard. By someone else. You beat up the wrong man, she told him. Bree's mother Claire held her daughter as her lover Jamie realized his mistake. Jamie swore to Bree as her father that he would make amends, but Bree remained outraged. My father never would have said the things you said to me, she hissed at him. He was a good man. You're nothing but a savage. Jamie and young Ian Fraser Murray, John Bell, tried to figure out the identity of Bree's rapist, but Claire revealed who it was by putting her old ring on the table. It was him, she said referencing the Irish pirate and smuggler Bonnet. Ian then revealed that he sold Roger to passing Mohawk traders and Bree promptly slapped him across the face, too. Lizzie Wemmis, Caitlin O'Rean earlier consoled Brie after she had a traumatic nightmare about her rape and said the man would never hurt her again. You're to beat him, nearly beat him to death, he did, Lizzie reported. And he had Ian send him away. Lizzie later said she was sorry for misidentifying Roger when Brie gathered everyone for answers. You should be, Brie told her as Jamie knocked over furniture in frustration. Brie then interrupted his outburst and made him stop. No. She shouted. No, you do not get to be more angry than me. Bree then set a plan in motion to retrieve Roger back from the Mohawk. She asked Claire to go with Jamie and Ian since Roger would recognize her as a friendly face, but Claire was reluctant to leave her pregnant daughter alone. Jamie suggested Bree and Lizzie stay at River Run and Myrtle volunteered to drive them there and later enjoyed a nice reunion with Aunt Joe Casta. Brie also decided to keep her baby after Claire said that she could perform an abortion. If there's even a slightest chance it's his, I'm going to keep it. Not just for him, for me, too, she told Claire. And if it's not his, I'll love it anyway. I know I will. Jamie also gave Myrtle orders to find Bonnet. Bring him to me in secret. I'm going to kill him, Jamie said. Roger meanwhile was being held captive by the Mohawk along with another prisoner who died during the night. While being marched along by the Mohawk, Roger stumbled off the side of a ravine and made a run for it in the wilderness. Roger managed to elude the Mohawk and came across a clearing with a stone circle. Oh my god, he said as the stones similar to the time-traveling gateway at Craig Nodun started buzzing. Roger with the gems bonnet paid him still in his pocket then walked toward the largest stone and reached out for it as the episode ended. Outlander is based on the book series of the same name by Diana Gabaldone, 66. The series will return next week on Stars with an episode titled If Not For Hope.